from countless allegations of sexual assault to rumored associations with the Irish Mafia. These are Conor McGregor's most scandalous accusations. Everyone knows that the Notorious is no stranger to controversies, but that's just part of what makes him the interesting, larger-than-life character that he is. Recently, though, he made headlines for all the wrong reasons. The UFC champs under fire for reportedly assaulting a woman during the NBA Finals. Yikes. The unnamed accuser said that McGregor forced himself on her in a toilet while the game was going on, and the Miami police have started taking the claim seriously. But McGregor's not someone who's afraid of controversy, because in response to the sexual assault allegations, he took to Instagram to share a quote that said, When you destroy someone's life with lies, it comes back with interest. So, looks like he's in no mood to back down. But this isn't the only time McGregor's been hit with accusations of sexual assault. And it's happened back in 2019, too, when he was accused of sexually assaulting a woman in a Dublin hotel. Later that year, another woman came forward with similar allegations. McGregor denied both claims, but the police still decided to arrest and question him. Two years later, prosecutors let McGregor off the hook regarding the alleged assault, but the initial accuser sued McGregor for personal injuries, claiming that he assaulted her in a Dublin hotel again. The case is still ongoing, and McGregor continues to deny the allegations. But that's not all. McGregor was also detained and questioned for indecently exposing himself and sexually assaulting someone in a bar in 2020. Jeez, he spent two days in custody before being released, and authorities later declared that the evidence wasn't strong enough for criminal prosecution. Even though that's a bit of a relief, it doesn't give McGregor a break, since his scandals don't stop there. He's also been accused of making racist comments in the past. In one incident, he went all out with a racist taunt against Brazilian fighter Jose Aldo, referring to his opponent's hometown as a favela and threatening to turn it into a Reebok sweatshop. For those who don't know, a favela is a shanty town that used to be home to enslaved Africans on the outskirts of Brazilian cities back in the 19th century. And that's definitely not a good look for McGregor, especially when he's made that mistake more than once. Back in 2017, during a promotional event for his boxing match against Floyd Mayweather Jr., McGregor said, dance for me, boy, at one point. And some people were furious when they heard that, because McGregor's use of the word boy was thought to be extremely racist. The boxing champ responded by saying that McGregor had crossed a line and that he's losing tons of fans because of it. McGregor denied all of it, claiming that his words were twisted. In fact, he called Mayweather a rat and a weasel for twisting his words and giving him a bad name. Anyway, this wasn't the only time McGregor's mouth got him into trouble. And this time, he was accused of being homophobic. At the UFC Fight Night 118, there was a clash between Andre Feely and Artem Lobov, who was also McGregor's teammate. Feely ended up winning the fight, and McGregor wasn't too happy about that. While consoling his buddy, the UFC champion was caught on camera using a homophobic slur to describe Feely. It was a super low blow, and it didn't go well with anyone who saw the video. In fact, a lot of folks were downright mad at McGregor. Many even rushed to Twitter to boo him for the foul and demanded an apology. Since it was all on record, McGregor couldn't just weasel his way out of these accusations. He had to take accountability to save himself. And that's exactly what he did. On November 2017, he came out and publicly apologized for his use of the homophobic slur by saying that he meant no disrespect to anyone, especially the LGBTQ community. McGregor admitted that it was a very stupid and offensive thing to say in the first place, but added that he was only human, who made mistakes like everyone else. Now, even though things ended fairly well in this case, they don't always do, especially when McGregor goes beyond regular old trash talk and actually gets violent, heads up, cause this clash didn't take place inside the ring. If you haven't caught on, I'm talking about the infamous UFC 223 incident, AKA the bus attack. Here's what happened. In 2018, McGregor and his crew decided to storm the Barclays Center and start a brawl by throwing a dolly at a bus carrying other fighters. The incident shook a lot of people, and some were even injured. 
UFC fighter, Michael Chiesa ended up with some pretty nasty cuts from the shattered glass and even required medical attention. It also forced him to pull out of his fight against Anthony Pettis at UFC 223. So, he ended up filing a civil lawsuit against the UFC champion. Dana White spoke out against McGregor's actions, calling them disgusting and vowing to take action against the fighter. McGregor's notorious reputation was definitely reinforced by this incident, and it remains one of the most talked about moments in the history of the sport. Why'd he do that, you ask? Well, just two days before his infamous attack on the Barclays Center, McGregor's pal Lobov got into a scuffle with Khabib Nurmagomedov at a hotel. And wouldn't you believe it, Khabib and his crew were on the same bus that McGregor decided to attack. It was all caught on camera, and Connor had to face the consequences of his actions. Lucky for him, McGregor was able to dodge jail time and was slapped with an anger management course and five days of community service instead. While we're on the topic of McGregor not playing fair, let's talk about his cheating accusations too. McGregor had been accused of using performance-enhancing drugs in the past, but no one ever took the claims too seriously until his recent beef with USADA came up. Connor had been laying low since his brutal leg injury in his fight against Dustin Poirier at UFC 264. After a while, he started hitting the gym hard and bulking up for his upcoming comeback fight against Michael Chandler. But it looks like he might have to wait a bit longer, thanks to USADA's strict drug testing policies. And by a bit longer, I mean six whole months. There'd been some speculation in the MMA world that the notorious may be using PEDs to help speed up his recovery from his leg injury. McGregor hasn't come right out and said it, but he's hinted at the idea. Meanwhile, other UFC fighters like Jorge Masvidal, Justin Gagey, and Benil Dariush have been throwing shade at McGregor and accusing him of cheating during his time on the sidelines. McGregor's not too happy about the situation, calling USADA a garbage organization, and insisting that two drug tests should be enough. Even McGregor's fans find it hard to defend him in this sticky situation, and many of them aren't buying the it's for my injury excuse either. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now we all know McGregor's notorious for being a troublemaker, but did you know that his friends are even more shady? Take Andrew and Jonathan Murray, for example, aka the Gangster Brothers. The two share a total of 66 criminal convictions. They've been charged for almost anything you could think of, I'm talking about theft, assault, possession of drugs, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. You must be thinking, what's Connor got to do with any of this? Well, let me tell you. The Gangster Brothers are actually his childhood friends, and they've been seen beside him throughout his career. The brothers were also pictured just hours before the bus incident even happened. If that doesn't smell fishy to you, wait till you hear this. The two were eventually found to have a role in smuggling drugs for the Kinahan Cartel, aka the Irish mob. To make matters worse, McGregor has publicly interacted with members of the Kinahan cartel, and he's even rumored to be friends with some of them. Don't believe me? Well, a picture of McGregor smiling while taking a selfie with David Byrne in 2015 might convince you. For context, Burns is also a close associate of the Kinahan cartel. Isn't that crazy? Now, it could all just be a big coincidence, but the deeper you dig, the darker it gets for McGregor and his controversies. So there you have it. From his rumored associations with the Irish Mafia to countless allegations of sexual assault, those were Conor McGregor's most scandalous accusations.